For the implementation of our new management system, the IFQ, we fished when the government told us to fish. I would go out and risk, risk my life a little more than normal uh, in the bad weather to try to provide for my family. There was no fishing from October to December, so I was like, wow, this is a real challenge. When the IFQ system came in, I saw the light. It's like, wow, I can actually build a future in this business. You could decide when you wanted to go fishing. You could catch as many fish as you had quota for each trip. And it gave us a stable market where we had fish every week so that the restaurants that we supplied could put that product on their menu and keep it there year round. The consumers get access to more product more frequently and the recreational fishery gets access to the additional quota because we rebuild the stocks. IFQ gives you stability so that the fishing world can work more like the seafood world works. Our stock is in better shape now than it's been in the history of our fishery. There's not enough fish to go around with the population as much as it is, um, that we can take a little, but we can't go out there and harvest these massive amounts anymore. It has to be managed. It's a natural resource. It has to be treated that way in all aspects. I would fear that there would be a collapse of some fisheries if we would got rid of the IFQ program. I want sustainability. I want to do this for the next 20 years. I don't want this to go away. And these fishermen have worked hard all their lives to rebuild these stocks of fish, and they should be supported for their efforts. They went through some very lean years, and now that the fishery is recovering, we need your support.